This slideshow explains the process of completing Arabic multiplication. Using the traditional method for multiplication, say 34 times 6, would normally be set out like this, where we'd first of all calculate 6 lots of 30, being 180, then 6 lots of 4, making 24. Those two numbers would then be added together to give us an answer of 204. The traditional method becomes tricky once you begin to multiply by more than one digit. For instance, if you had to work out 34 times 25, first of all, you would need to find 20 times 30, 600, 20 times 4, which is 80, 5 times 30, 150, and 5 times 4, which is 20. Obviously, the more digits that are added, the more calculations that will be needed to solve the equation. The answer in this case coming to 850. Using the Arabic method, first of all we begin by drawing a grid, very similar to the traditional grid method. Then where it becomes different is, each grid cell is then split diagonally. First thing we do is to calculate 6 times 3, which would give us 18, 110, which goes above the line, and 8 units, which goes below the diagonal line. Next, we need to work out 6 times 4. That gives us 24 two tens and four units. To understand how to work out the answer we must imagine that these stripes work diagonally and we have to work out the um, total of each diagonal stripe. The first stripe, the yellow one, we add up to four. The second stripe, which is the white stripe, eight and two makes ten, so we have to carry the one into the next column and the zero goes into our... Finally we now have two in our final yellow stripe gives us the answer now of 204. This seems a little long-winded, but it's much easier when multiplying by more than one digit. For example, let's take 25 times 34 again. I've already drawn out the grid with the diagonals already coloured in, and when working with children it's a good idea to get them to shade in one of the diagonals first. This makes it easier for them to see the patterns. You can see now that the calculations have been carried out. 2 times 3 gives us 6, so 0 tens and 6 units. 2 times 4 gives us 8, 0 tens and 8 units. 5 times 3 gives us 15, 1 ten and 5 units. 5 times 4 gives us 20, 2 tens and 0 units. So now when we add up the columns, our first white diagonal column adds up to 0. The first yellow column adds up to 15. So the 10 goes into the next strip and the 5 goes into the answer. Finally, our white column now adds up to 8, making the answer 850. Notice there is 0 in the yellow column at the top. That's no longer needed. The same method can be used regardless of the number of digits in each number. It's quite possible to multiply numbers in the millions by numbers in the millions and still get an accurate answer. Table facts are only needed to be learned up to 9 times 9, as you never have to answer um, a calculation higher than that.